Geleceğe doğru doğru adım. İstanbul Medipol Üniversitesi. Hello dear international students. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Today we are back with another remarkable guest and I would like to introduce you to assistant professor Dr. Yeshim Eskin of the School of Communication. Hello, how are you feeling? Hello, thank you. Yes. Uh, now let's get right into the first question. In today's society, I mean, of course, you can't go anywhere without your mobile phone and without, uh, like, I mean, the media tools, they have become so widespread. And considering this situation, what would you say, how important is the education and professions of journalism in our country? Well, uh, as you may have mentioned, we live in a digital era right now. Mm. You know what? Uh, we are just in the age of this digital transformation. So uh, it's important to understand that uh, communication industry has also mm. transformed itself into this new uh, reality. So as communication expert, actually, this is a good news for you, uh, for us, mm. especially for those uh, graduate students and also prospective students, let's say, because there are new emerging jobs on the market right now. Up to now, you know, we were just talking about being PR uh, specialist or let's say marketing communication executive, but right now we have new job titles. For example, we can talk about being social media specialist or digital marketing lead, or maybe, uh, you know, there are some kind of behavior designers, user experience designers, and so on. And also in our faculty, uh, I want to say that we really believe in our students should acquire new digital skills. That's why here we have some uh, digital classes. They are all well programmed, of course. For example, our students can take, can take classes like uh, social media and digital, um, digital marketing or digital content management. We have also persuasion strategies classes, for example, and they have uh, a chance to study persuasion technologies as well. There we are trying to understand how we can uh, really create structured, well-designed, persuasive uh, messages for the digital platforms. Okay, and also our uh, students, let's say, uh, can really uh, implement gamification into real uh, mobile campaign, in mobile application for the marketing campaign. Uh, long story short, actually, let me tell you that uh, in our faculty, in our programs, all digital skills are highly valued and also they are highlighted in our programs. Mm, yes, thank you so much. And since you mentioned uh, studying at uh, Medipol, could you maybe give us some information about the departments of the School of Communication and what would you say about Medipol Media Center? especially in terms of practical, uh, practical education. Okay, of course. So uh, in our faculty we have six programs, mm -hmm. uh, PR and advertising program. It has both Turkish and English program, of course, and all international students are welcome here. And um, also we have, as you mentioned, uh, also we have journalism here, new media in our faculty. Uh, we have media and visual arts, and also uh, we have radio and television program. As you mentioned, we have a media center here and our students use this uh, studios, TV studios and uh, green box studios we have here, movie theater and um, graphic design labs and pure and advertising lab. There are lots of opportunities. <laughs> and also if they like, they can uh, experience real TV broadcasting uh, with mobile radio uh, that uh, support up to eight cameras. I mean, those are very important for a uh, communication faculty. Yes, definitely. They are very important and yeah. I mean, an amazing opportunity for our students. Yeah. And following your, following your answer, what would you say are the advantages of studying public relations in Istanbul and why exactly should they choose Medipol for this? Yes. So, uh, you know, Istanbul, as you know, there are lots of international companies, headquarters here, firstly. And all well-known PR agencies are here, uh, leading uh, advertising agencies, well-known agencies are here. Uh, especially if our students want to work as an intern in, in these companies, so they will understand actually how it will be easy for them. Uh, our transportation facilities are, uh, really, are really good and will be easy for them. And also, uh, they can check uh, Medipol campus location uh, from Google and they'll understand also. But also, I want to add that um, our job, our main goal as a communication expert really, is uh, we are trying to understand the humans. We are trying to understand our targeted consumers, their uh, way of thinking, their needs and their concern. 
So you know what, to live in such a city, in a lively city and cosmopolitan city, uh, will really uh, give them insight about targeted audience and uh, insight about different cultures. And of course it will be a personal gain for them and will be a long-term gain. And yes. whenever we talk with our international students, we always hear that they are very happy being here, of course. <laughs> yes, definitely. I mean, Istanbul is the city to be. So you know and you are here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. And um, now, since we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. the media sector is growing daily. I mean, um, the public relation is exposed to a what much uh, wider uh, scope. So in this context, could you maybe tell us about the job opportunities for our students after they graduate? So uh, first, please let me define what is public relations here. I want to really make it uh, crystal clear for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Uh, public relations actually is a field of study. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a discipline. But whenever we say PR, most of the people, they believe in that uh, we are just talking about a job title. Well, of course, it's a job, but also, if you want, if you graduate from this department, it doesn't mean that you're going to be just a PR specialist, no. You can work in an international company as a marketing communication leader, or let's say you can be a corporate communication executive maybe, or you have a chance to work in an international uh, agency. If you're talented, for example, in copywriting, you can be a creative director, why not? And uh, also, if you're interested in digital, Mm -hmm. uh, you can work all kind of digital uh, agencies as a social media specialist, digital marketing lead, and so on. Yes, so a lot of amazing op job opportunities for yeah, our yeah. students. Yeah, let's make it crystal clear. Mm -hmm. It's very important to understand the public relations as yes. a field of study. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's true. And moving on to our next question. Uh, what is the situation in your department regarding opportunities such as internal transfers, uh, major programs, masters or Erasmus that the students benefit from while their education continues? Well, firstly, our students can apply uh, double major programs. Mm -hmm. But of course, your GPA is very critical. And if you have agreement with other faculties that they like, that's okay, no problem, they're all welcome. So in our faculty also, we have two master programs one of them is marketing communication management and the other one is uh, media and communication system. And also this semester uh, we have a new PhD program that is called media and communication studies. Mm -hmm. So if our students want to pursue an academic uh, career, so they have such a chance here. I mean, also for Erasmus, uh, I know that they are very interested mm -hmm. in most of this, our students. It's important to say that we have such a chance and uh, we have agreement all around the Europe, the School of Communication, mm -hmm. but if they need some detailed information, they can get contact with international office and also with Erasmus Coordination Department here. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And uh, you've mentioned it before, could you maybe go a little bit more in detail regarding the future of communication and media? Where do you see um, the professions of public relations, advertising well. <laughs> and new media? So, the future is now. <laughs> I didn't uh, honestly say that future is now. Well, uh, in recent years, a research has conducted uh, by, uh, let's say, one of the biggest uh, tech giants of, uh, of the world. And there we learned that one million, one and uh, 20 million people, uh, mm -hmm. ha they have to uh, recycle their uh, way of thinking, which is super important. There is a dramatic number there. I mean, 120 million may have to recycle. Well, such a huge number. Mm -hmm. So here is the idea. Whenever we are talking about to achieve something, actually we're always talking about uh, IQ, huh? intelligence. Mm -hmm. But yes. right now, nowadays, we are discussing about how uh, adaptability quality is important and coding code, actually, we say AQ. Okay, mm -hmm. so for our students, it's uh, very important to understand, firstly, they have to acquire all digital skills, mm -hmm. and so they have to be lifelong learner, okay, with the yeah. idea of adaptability quality. And finally, we have another interesting uh, paradigm, and mm -hmm. uh, right after 2020, I mean, right after the global pandemic of uh, coronavirus uh, disease, uh, we really, as a communication expert, we witnessed something interesting, all of a sudden, uh, consumers, or let's say customers, begin to question uh, why, or, what are all those organizations and brands really stand for? Will they really help in time of crisis, in time of social crisis? 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's a completely new paradigm. I mean, up to now, of course, all around the world, in all school of communication, mm -hmm. we already study all kind of reputation management or corporate social uh, responsibility. That's mm -hmm. okay. But right now, we are talking about social innovation culture, and which is very critical for our uh, students here. And of course, since 2018, in our faculty, we have mm -hmm. PR workshop uh, classes and PR in new media classes. In these classes, our students, they were trying to build up strategic uh, campaign there. And uh, their main aim to understand how can they really create a strategic, uh, weird strategic uh, way of thinking, uh, sustainable development mm -hmm. goals. Here is the idea. They have such an important insight, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, in our students. But lo lo uh, long story short here, uh, I want to say that um, it's very important to understand digital skills and also adaptability quality mm -hmm. and also finally nowadays we are talking about social innovation culture. And um, I just want to say that for our prospective students, uh, if, they if they need any kind of help, we are here as a communication faculty, we have desk here and uh, they can visit here and also I strongly recommend them to visit our media center as well. Yes, thank you so much for your great answer and for your time and uh, thank you for providing us with such valuable uh, knowledge and also thank you so much international students for tuning in. I hope you had a great time like me and see you again tomorrow with another guest. Thank you.